Well, we are in desperate need of rain. Two separate wildfires sparked just about a mile apart from each other this afternoon. They started around 1.30 near the city of Burnett. Fire crews from several agencies battled those fires, which threatened more than a dozen homes and burned nearly 500 acres. Now, viewers sent us these photos. All that smoke there gives you an idea of just how big this fire is. And Caleb got a little closer. You can see the flames in the distance and plenty of dry brush in its path. KXAN's Jared Wise was there today and has more. Cobb said this is where the road ends for now. After returning home from football practice, Chance Milanovic and his family had to wait patiently under this tree. I was kind of worried, yeah. Worried because smoke could be seen peeking over the end of the roadway. At first, the family didn't know if their house had gone up in flames. Yeah, everything's all right down there. Now, it was right across the street. My uncle was calling us and updating us and stuff. 14 homes were evacuated. Thankfully, none were damaged, but the extreme conditions are keeping cities like Burnett on edge. As dry as it is, uh, it is very easy for fires, for multiple fires to start. Multiple fires did start. This fire north of Burnett scorched 475 acres, coming very close to several homes. Fire departments from Leander and Cedar Park assisted, and so did a chopper with Texas Parks and Wildlife. They're tremendous help because they're able to not only see the fire from the air and direct firefighters on the ground, but they also are able to bring uh, water and uh, dump water on directly on the hot spots. Another fire over a mile south of this spot scorched just about 10 acres. It's near the same location where a wildfire flared up over the Memorial Day weekend, also threatening multiple homes at the time. There's a nearby railroad track and there was some speculation that a passenger train may have sparked it. Typically the train traveling on a uh, hot rail uh, does cause sparks occasionally, but I don't uh, believe that that has been verified and certainly has not been verified in this case. The cause of the smaller fire is still under investigation. The larger fire was caused by sparks from a tow chain. In Burnett, Jared Wise, KXAN News. Well, we're told one fire was heard out there today and is in stable condition at a local hospital. No word on exactly what the injuries are. That big fire is 95% contained at this point, but crews will continue working it through the night. And a brush fire that's been burning for four days is almost under control now. The Camp Swift fire scorched about 1,500 acres. We're told it's 95% contained right now. Investigators think a military truck may have sparked that fire.